Hello everyone. Today what I want to do is show you how to install and use the gameplay script that can be purchased from my Teachers Pay Teacher store. The first thing that you want to do is you want to set up your entire game. So you can see I have my game board and then I have my question slides and further after the question slides I then have my answer slides. One thing that's very important when you're setting up your game, if you're going to use this script, you want to keep all of your question sides to, slides together in a row. It doesn't matter what number they start on or how many of them there are, but they need to be sequentially numbered in order for the script to work. So when, you're, when you have this all set up, you're ready to go, you are going to go first to the Word document that you downloaded with your Teachers Pay Teachers purpose and purchase. And on page six, you want to start at the very top of the page, highlight and copy the entirety of pages six and seven. Make sure that you include the little bracket at the end. So once I've highlighted it, I'm gonna control C to copy and come back to my game. Then I'm going to click here, Tools, Script Editor. And I'm going to first delete everything that's there. Make sure that there is nothing left. So you'll see that there's only line one and it is blank. Then go ahead and paste your script that you copied from Microsoft Word. The next thing that you want to do is you want to go up to the top of your script. And you need to come back, find out what slides are your game are your questions on. My questions start on slide number two, and they go down here, I believe, to about 63, 61. So I ha have questions from slide two to 61. I'm going to come back here in my script. On line 33, I want A to equal slide number two because that is my first question. And on line number 34, I want B to equal 61 because that is my last question. These are the slides that it will pull from for the students to be able to be given their prompts to draw a card is how we would use it for a physical game. So I want to save. You'll be prompted to give it a name. You can see I just called mine the name of the game. And at that point, you can click the X, close the tab. Now, when you do this the first time, gameplay will not show up. You need to come over and click the reload and then wait for a few seconds. After just a few seconds, not long, gameplay will appear here next to help. You are now ready to play your game. So you're First person is going to say, gameplay, draw a card. Now this script, the first time it is used, every time you make a new copy, the first time the copy is used, authorization will be required. So all you have to do, click continue, click on your account, click advanced, go to, and whatever you named the script, and then click allow. Now I can again click gameplay, draw card. And it jumps, jumps me to one of my question cards. I've already set up a hyperlinked box to take me to the answer. And on my answer, I have a hyperlinked box to take me back to the game board. The other part of this script is the roll dice. So let's say I got the answer correct. I can then click gameplay, roll dice. It will pop up. I rolled a five. Okay, and now I am ready to move my playing piece. I hope this gives you a little bit better understanding of exactly how to use the gameplay script, and I hope you have a lot of fun.